Hi, my name is Brian Burkhart, Senior Product Manager for Consolidated Pilot Operated Pressure Relief Valves with Baker Hughes. And I'm here to talk to you today about a new product that we are releasing that we believe will be a game changer for our industry and most importantly, our customers um, here moving forward into the future. Uh, but before I go there, I'd like to take a quick step back and provide a little bit of background and history on the application that we are addressing. And so we've been talking to a number of customers and receiving lots of feedback on how their pressure relief devices can work better for them and, and suit their purpose better. Um, and the, really a lot of that feedback kind of boils down to two main themes that I'd like to talk to you about today. And so theme number one or challenge number one, you could say is how can we help them reduce their total cost of ownership, especially in the environment that we're in now. Um, and so they're looking at not only the investment that they're making in the overpressure protection product and maybe the installation and commissioning of that product, but what is that product costing them over the entire life cycle of the product, right? So they're looking at things like how often am I servicing that valve and how much money am I spending on that service? Um, on spring valves, how often am I replacing damaged Inconel bellows due to high back pressure or valve instability? Um, how often am I lapping the nozzle and the disc on the metal seated valves to make sure my valve is not leaking in service and wasting my process and leading to fugitive emissions, which we'll talk about in just a moment. Um, and, and then finally, how much money am I spending on parts and replacement valves and repairing damaged equipment due to relief instability and valve chatter. So that's sort of theme number one or challenge number one is reducing that total cost of ownership while maintaining um, safety and quality, which is obviously critical um, in an overpressure protection application. So theme number two or challenge number two is our customers want to start to look at ways to increase their operating efficiency. So maybe running closer to set pressure, improving their profit margin, but being able to reduce their carbon footprint and fugitive emissions. And sometimes those two things uh, may be in conflict with each other. And so the challenge here is how do we in an economical way provide them a solution that lets them do just that. So increase their operating efficiency reduce their carbon footprint, reduce their fugitive emissions, which is I think a growing trend that we're seeing um, in, in both in the past decade and then moving forward into the future. And so that's the challenge that they've laid before us. Um, so let's see what, we're, what we were able to do in order to address those challenges. So there's good news and bad news. The good news is that there's already a product in pilot operated pressure relief valves that solves many of these challenge that, challenges that I've already laid out. Um, you're able to operate closer to set pressure without experiencing um, seat leakage across the main valve seat with a pilot valve, keeping your uh, operation efficient and reducing your carbon footprint. Um, you're also able to solve many um, challenges due to a relief instability with a modulating pilot or using a remote sense option, bypassing high inlet line losses and helping you to have a stable overpressure protection cycle, keeping your valve from chattering, beating up the parts and spending money on replacing parts and valves and equipment. Um, so lots of benefits of pilot valves, but the problem is, or the downside, is that when you have an existing application of a direct spring API 526 valve that may be misapplied or oversized um, in one of those applications we spoke about before, uh, the problem is that, is that there's set center line to face dimensions already for that valve with the inlet and the outlet. And so if you want to take out that valve and upgrade it to a pilot valve and take advantage of those benefits, um, it often is the case that the center line to face dimensions of the pilot valve is not going to match up to your existing piping. And so this is going to require cutting pipe, welding, NDE, hydro, all of that good stuff. And that's going to eat away at your ROI and really water down the benefits that you're seeing in the reduction of total cost of ownership and sort of defeats the purpose. And so um, pilot valves are a great solution. But we need a pilot valve that's going to be a drop-in solution where you can just take out that spring valve and put in a pilot valve, start getting the benefits, and get rid of all of the additional costs associated with um, piping modifications. So this is where our new revolutionary product comes into play. So introducing the consolidated 2900 series generation 2 uh, pilot operated pressure relief valve. And so in a nutshell, this is the first and only drop-in solution for upgrading or replacing those API 526 direct spring valve bad actors that may be um, 
oversized or misapplied uh, with the pilot valve, getting all the benefits of the pilot valve, but none of the extra hassle and costs associated um, with piping modifications due to centerline to face dimensions. And really at its core, it brings three unique benefits um, that I'm excited to share with you. So let's go through those together. Benefit number one. This is the first and only drop-in solution for a direct spring API 526 valve to integrally sensed pilot valve upgrade to take advantage of all of the benefits that we talked about with pilot valves with an integrally sensed option instead of having to do a remote sense and not having to worry about any associated costs or hassle with piping modifications due to centerline to face dimensional differences. Benefit number two, this pilot, unlike most pilots on the market, um, is actually a full nozzle pilot. So what that means is the nozzle actually sticks out the bottom of the body and it isolates the body from coming into contact with the service under normal operating conditions. And so this will allow you to get away with maybe lower grade body materials and some corrosive applications while only having to upgrade the material of the nozzle and the disc and thus lowering our total cost of ownership. Um, another added benefit is the nozzle easily threads in and out of the body um, and it makes maintenance much easier and simpler if you need to repair or replace the nozzle in case of damage. Benefit number three is where we really see the innovation from our engineers making sure they're thinking about not just the initial valve but how is it going to uh, reduce the total cost of ownership throughout the life cycle. And that is that the sensing ring will always align to the sensing tube after assembly and after service. So one of the problems that we were seeing is that when you have a full nozzle sticking out the bottom, when you thread that nozzle out and you may perform service on it or replace it over time, and you thread that nozzle back in, um, it's, there's potential that that nozzle will not align back to the sensing tube causing a misalignment and causing problems when trying to connect the sensing tube back to that NPT connection. And so what our engineers have come up with is a sensing ring that actually wraps around the nozzle and spins freely. So after you thread that nozzle back in, you can spin that sensing ring freely, align it up to the sensing tube, and it aligns every time, achieving the challenge that our customers laid out before us of reducing that total cost of ownership. Finally, we need to address the customer's concern about reducing carbon, carbon footprint and fugitive emissions. And so for that, the 2900 series generation two pilot valve comes standard with the consolidated true zero leakage modulating pilot. And so this pilot was recognized by hydrocarbon engineering um, for its ability to help customers reduce their carbon footprint and fugitive emissions, not just uh, in the main valve of the pilot, but the total valve of the pilot. And let me tell you what I mean by that. So a typical modulating pilot uses what's called internal modulating technology. And so the way it works is at, um, at a certain point below 95%, the pilot enters into what's called the null zone. And in the null zone, the dome pressure of the main valve is locked in um, up into the point of around 95%. And then at 95%, in order to help the valve modulate, the main valve will begin to relieve its pressure through the pilot and into the atmosphere um, to relieve that dome pressure and let the valve begin to modulate as it approaches set pressure. And um, so when that, when that main valve dome pressure is escaping out of the pilot, these are fugitive emissions and carbon emissions in, in many cases. Um, and so what the, what the consolidated true zero leakage modulating pilot does is it uses what's called uh, bolt-on modulating technology, where the valve waits all the way up until 100% of set pressure, and then immediately drops down the dome pressure when it's time for the valve to relieve. So it doesn't relieve that main valve dome pressure prematurely, it keeps it in there until the moment that the valve hits set pressure. And this, this um, advanced technology really helps our customers um, to operate more efficient, efficiently and reduce their carbon footprint. And so the 2900 comes standard with that. And um, it's something that I think married up with the new patented nozzle design, um, uh, helping our customers to be able to have an integrally sensed pilot solution um, with the true zero leakage modulating pilot is really a full, uh, a full solution for reducing that total cost of ownership and uh, increasing our operating efficiency and profitability while reducing our carbon footprint and fugitive emissions.